congratulations to you Nigerians because uh, we have come a long way and we have reached a point where our joy must arrive. That's why I say congratulations to every Nigerian that is listening to my voice at this point in time. Why? Because we have labored, we have waited, we have expected a financial liberation. And I can tell you by the grace of God that we are at the point, we are at the door where we will get it. Good morning, fellow Nigerians. Good morning, fellow subscribers of Eros Grants in Nigeria. Good morning, fathers, mothers, brothers and sisters. This is your friend and brother, Akim Shola Josiah. Coming your way today, Friday, the 23rd day of August, year 2024. The time by my watch is 4.37 a.m. We are in the early hours of the day. Once again, I say good morning, fellow Nigerians. Today, I come with a congratulatory message to you Nigerians and uh, a few words of uh, advice and encouragement and a word to the spiritual land of Nigeria. God bless you as you listen. <clears throat> I want to say congratulations to you Nigerians because uh, we have come a long way and we have reached a point where our joy must arrive. That's why I say Congratulations to every Nigerian that is listening to my voice at this point in time. Why? Because we have labored, we have waited, we have expected a financial liberation. And I can tell you by the grace of God that we are at the point, we are at the door where we will get it by God's special grace. Why did I say so? Because a number of the grants we have applied for uh, are about to be released. Nigerians, by God's grace, UAAG shall deliver. UAAG US grants shall be disbursed very soon. That reach a level that it just must come out to God with the glory. Also, we had of a uh, uh, power of five, right? Uh, power of five grants, which is also uh, almost ready, and it shall be disposed very soon by God's grace. Then we, we also have uh, this intervention fund by God's grace will also be released. Those, those three are the three most uh, popular uh, disbursements that Nigerians are waiting and are expecting. But I can tell you there are more money coming. More money. Well, more funds coming and uh, they all meet me and you alive and you held by God's special grace. If you are close to me or you are in, in uh, my any of my special platforms, you must have also had of another opportunity that also coming. My advice is that uh, you should all take advantages of 
of these opportunities because by God's grace, Nigeria is ready for mighty outpouring of blessings. You shall meet me and you in good health in God's most holy name. Now, I want to answer a question. Why has there been no disbursement since all these days in Nigeria? Yes, many people have asked that question. They have done this, they have done that, they have done this, they are tired, they are tired. Why have there been no disbursement so far in Nigeria? I will answer that question from two points, or from two fronts. First, from the front of Africa as a continent and from the front of Nigeria as a particular country and a leader in Africa. Now, from the front of Africa as a continent, let me tell you one thing. The people that colonized Africa, they never want Africa to be free. No. That's why when Africans were agitating for independence, they went back to sit and think, how do we answer these people? We want what we cannot give them. We must give them something without giving them the same thing. You understand? In life, there's the point where you talk without, you know, without speaking. There's the point where you talk without speaking. Yes, you said something, but you have not spoken anything. That is, you know, uh, wisdom at certain level. So they needed to give our forefathers the vested independence without giving them. So what they did was to, you know, to to give them things. You no, know, I mean, to give them akara, right? And for them, you know, both are still. You know, product, product, product of things. I can remember one is right, one day was, you know, one is cooked. But both were grounded. So almost the same way. They are basically the same thing. So they give us a car, don't call it the moment and so forth. Still do the same. So they give us political independence and collected our financial or economic uh, you know, independence. Us. That's what it is. But by God's grace, we have reached a level where many African countries are, you know, wisening up. And we are getting back our financial freedom. Also, God is helping us at certain level to get the financial freedom. God will help us by God's special grace. Now, I will advise that you believe, expect and await your financial freedom because these grants, these three grants and more shall soon be released unto you Nigerians. Just prepare. Perfect your documentations in power of five, in intervention funds, and another one that you are, you are, you are involved in. Perfect your documents and expect the mighty rain that is about to fall, rain of blessings, that is about to fall upon Nigeria. God bless us. Um, there's a word for River Niger. Yes, uh, you see, there is spiritual Nigerian land, just as there is physical Nigerian land. Paul said, if there is a physical body, there is a spiritual body. Now, physical bodies reside on, on physical land. So therefore, spiritual body reside on spiritual land. I want to address the spiritual land of Nigeria. And I'll be addressing River Niger. Thus says the Lord to the sons of Israel and to Pharaoh. Concerning the sons of Israel, let my people go. Thus says the Lord, by Niger, concerning Nigerians, 
Let my people go. Nigerians are crying. Nigerians are willing. Nigerians are suffering. They have called on God. We have prayed. We have fasted. We are still praying. We are still fasting. And God has had our prayers. So God said to you, the Nigeria and other spiritual territorial powers in charge of Nigeria, let Nigerians go. Let Nigerians go. Let Nigerians go. I won't say more than that. But I did not speak, but the Lord spoke. You understand. Nigerians, this is all I have for you. God bless you. Do the needful. Continue in prayers and explain the mighty way. That is the Lord before. God bless you all. Till I come your way again, I am your friend and brother. Akim Shola Josiah, a.k.a. Mr. Shalom. God bless you all. Amen. <laughs>